Hi and welcome to Top of the Town. Tonight we have a very special guest. She is the daughter of Athena. She is from Camp Half Blood. We are talking about no other than the brave and the wise Miss Anna the Chase. Let us all give her a round of applause. So, for the first question, if you could design a new structure for the camp Half Blood, what would it be? I'm glad that we asked because we seriously need a temple. But here we are, children of the Greek gods, and we don't even have a monument to our parents. I'd say I'd put it on the hill just south of Half Blood Hill, and I designed it so that every morning the rising sun would shine through its windows and make a different god's yeah, emblem on the floor. I could go on and on about it, but you probably get the idea. Aside from your mom, who do you think is the wisest god or goddess among the Olympian Council? Wow, let me think. Um, the thing is, the Olympians aren't exactly known for wisdom. And I mean that with the greatest possible respect. Zeus is wise in his own way. I mean, he kept the family together for 4,000 years and the gods not easy. Hermes is clever. He even fooled Apollo once by stealing his cattle, and Apollo is no slouch. Also, I've always admired Artemis. She doesn't compromise her beliefs. She doesn't. She does her own thing, and she spends more time in the mortal world than most gods do. So, she understands what's going on. She doesn't understand guys, though. I guess nobody's perfect. Of all your camp half blood friends, who would you most like to have with you on battle? Oh, Percy. No contest. I mean, sure, he can be annoying, but he's dependable. He's brave and he's a good fighter. Normally, as long as I'm telling him what to do, he wins in a fight. So, you've been known to call Percy seaweed brain from time to time. What do you think is the most annoying characteristics of Percy? Well, I don't call him that because he's so bright, do I? I mean, he's not dumb. He's actually pretty intelligent, but he acts so a thousand times. I wonder if he does that to annoy me. The guy has a lot going for him. He's courageous, he's got a sense of humor, He's good looking, but don't you dare tell him that I said that. We've already reached the end of our interview. Again, let us all give a round of applause for our wonderful guest, Miss Annabeth Chase. Hello and welcome to another episode of Talk of the Town with me, Anna. Today's interview is a very special one because we have a very special guest. We've won great battles and conquered lands and hearts. Without much further ado, let's call on the young, brave and handsome Sir Patrick Knight from the Castle of Chaos. As a notable soldier, serving your kingdom with great honor and dignity. What pushes you or drives you to become a knight? What admires you to become who you are today? Actually, as the son of the major general of this kingdom, it actually runs in my blood. And personally, I saw that this kingdom is falling into chaos. Without brave soldiers willing to fight for its order, it will actually fall into You have won great battles from the north, south, east, and west. What is your greatest achievement? My greatest achievement was when I slayed the swamp giants of the north. They are worthy opponents, and I enjoy bringing revenge for my fallen comrades. The people are 
curious about what did you do during a pastime? Something that a knight does during his leisure time. A knight doesn't usually get much of a free time. But when I do, I love to sip some coffee while I read my books. Because, you know, it's actually good to sharpen your mind as much as your sword. This is very important. What do you think is the prominent characteristic of being a knight? I think it is loyalty. Firm loyalty. It is what separates us from the savages. Each knight swore their life for the betterment of this kingdom. And if anyone broke their bow, and they are lower than the worms that crawls on the ground. Now, I have to ask you this question for the sake of thousands of women out there. Of course, being a knight means popularity, and it means a lot of praises and admirers. The people are asking, do you have any romantic interest among the women in the kingdom? A knight is married to the job. It's actually harder to find a potential partner than to kill any wild beast. But who knows what fate has in store for me. Thank you so much for joining us in this episode and for sharing your experiences. Sir Patrick Knight in the Castle of Chaos. Again, it's me, Anna, and see you in the next episode here in Talk of the Town.